Should you upgrade from the free version of DaVinci Resolve to the studio version? What features are you missing in the studio version if you stay in the free version? What are the common limitations of the free version? Hopefully in this video, I can answer these questions for you. If I did answer your questions, don't forget to hit the like button and click the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. If you have more questions about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. In this video, I'm going to be going over 10 features you get in the studio version that users of the free version of DaVinci Resolve may need, or they are features that may interest you. Firstly, I want to discuss the cost of the studio version. Depending on where you purchase it from, you're looking at around 450 Australian dollars and it's a one-time purchase. I'm still using my activation code from DaVinci Resolve 15, which you can see right here. The really cool thing about Blackmagic is if you guys buy some of their hardware like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, they will usually give you a studio activation card for free. That's what happened with me when I purchased my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera 4K about five years ago and it just came with the camera at no extra cost. So now let's get on with the top 10. So I decided not to include the price as a top 10 reason, just so you can get a feel for what the pricing is like. So anyway, the first feature would be GPU and hardware acceleration. In the studio version, you can switch between CPUs and GPUs, which will make Resolve run so much faster, which I believe is worth the upgrade. It will allow you to edit smoother and faster. The free version doesn't support multiple graphics cards, but some say in the free version, the MacBook Pros can. I actually can't verify that because I don't own a MacBook Pro, but any MacBook users that are watching this, feel free to leave a comment below confirming this. Another thing is that it has accelerated H.264 and H.265 decoding, which allows you to edit faster when using H.264 and H.265 files in your timeline. Why is this great? Lots of phones and prosumer and consumer cameras out there use the H.264 compression and having this will make you edit faster and have less frustration while editing. The second feature is resolution and frame rate limits. In the free version of Resolve, you are limited in creating timeline resolutions up to 4K 60 frames per second compared to the studio version being able to go up to 32K 120 frames per second. Honestly, most of the projects I work on, I don't go higher than 4K resolution, but it is nice to know that it can go up to 32K resolution for the one time I may actually need it. It's definitely not necessary, but if you want to stack up multiple 4K clips for a large screen display in town centers or football stadiums, I guess this can come in handy. I don't know what you would need 32K resolution for, so that may entirely not convince you to upgrade, but at least it future-proofs you, especially since 8K is slowly being used for productions. The third feature is noise reduction. Unfortunately, in the free version, you don't have noise reduction features unless you are using the third-party plugins. Basically, if your footage is grainy because you were filming in low light, cleaning up that digital noise will help make your footage much cleaner and nicer looking. The studio version has a new noise reduction feature called Ultra NR, where it is optimized to reduce noise without softening the image because with a lot of other denoises, they tend to blur the image, but Ultra NR uses magic or black magic, if you will, and also makes playback much smoother. I've actually created a tutorial here so you can learn how well it works. The fourth would be text-based editing, which was introduced back in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 which is a studio only feature which allows you to analyze a long clip of someone talking and grab moments or phrases that you like or remember from when you were on sets, which helps speed up your editing process and easily put that section into your timeline without having to scrub through trying to find the good parts. That feature alone would convince me to get the studio version ASAP. Especially since I do a lot of client videos where we interview lots of people that talk for like five to 10 minutes each and have to put it into a few minutes highlights videos. And that feature would help speed up my editing process. Fifth one is IntelliTrack. In the free version, you do have access to basic point tracker, but if the tracker loses contrast, you will have to find another point where the tracker sticks or go frame by frame to animate whatever you're trying to integrate into your footage. Whereas the IntelliTrack uses AI to figure out what the IntelliTrack tracker is trying to stick to, this will give you an accurate track without losing its point. Now the IntelliTrack tracker can also be used for audio where you can pan audio from left to right, depending on where the object is on the screen. I actually have a tutorial here if you want to check it out and learn more about the IntelliTrack tracker, but there are other advanced trackers you miss out on in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. The sixth feature is Magic Mask. This feature is only in DaVinci Resolve Studio, 
it uses AI to detect objects, people, animals, and cuts them out from a scene or separate them from the background so you can easily apply effects and filters and blurs. I have a couple videos on my channel that utilize Magic Mask. You can cut objects out in the free version, but you will spend hours rotoscoping each frame where the Magic Mask automatically adjusts the masks over the subject, person, or animal. The seventh feature is the new Music Remixer in DaVinci Resolve 19. What the Music Remixer does is really cool. Have you ever found the perfect royalty free piece of music that you like and had to stop the track halfway through because instruments or vocals ruin the mood that you're trying to convey? The Music Remixer allows you to isolate the vocals or an instrument or completely remove instruments from the song you want to use. This isn't in the free version of DaVinci Resolve unfortunately. The eighth feature is Super Scale. So what this does is it allows you to convert 1080p footage to 4K resolution. Now you might say you can already do this in the free version. Well, yes, but all you are doing is stretching the 1080p clip to fit a 4K timeline and that will make it blurry when you scale it up. What Superscale does is if a 1080p clip is in a 4K timeline, it uses the DaVinci Neural Engine magic to sharpen the video and clean it up in a way where it looks like it was shot in 4K to begin with, which also makes it great if you have archive footage from years ago, basically creating a 4K or HD remaster. I actually did this on one of my videos where I review the DJI Action 4 and use clips I shot in 1080p for TV broadcast reasons and super scaled it in my timeline for a 4K render and it looked incredible. So my top nine feature is definitely the Film Look Creator in the studio version. The Film Look Creator allows you to have access to preset lights of certain film stocks. It allows you to have more control over bloom, halation, grain, and gate weave, and so much more in one plugin. The older way was to purchase a plugin called Dehancer, which did something similar, but they recently added the Filmal Creator into Resolve 19 to make things easier for colorists that want to make their footage look more like film stock or give it a cinematic look. And finally, the last feature that made it in my top 10 is the Dialogue Separator. The reason for that is I use this in all my videos, especially my tutorials and reviews. What this feature does is it separates the person talking from the background noise. So if the background noise is like being near, you know, busy traffic or kids screaming in the background, birds chirping, is that this feature allows you to bring the background noise down a bit or completely muting all the background noise to avoid not hearing the person that is in focus in your video or remove someone talking and keeping the background noise. This is only available in the studio version because it uses DaVinci Neural Engine, which is DaVinci Resolve's AI features. Now there are a whole bunch of features I didn't add in this video because I wanted to keep it as short as possible and also because I don't use all of the features on a regular basis, but the ones that I did mention, I actually use quite a fair bit. Also, most of the features I did mention are DaVinci Resolve neural engine based effects and features which are designed to minimize those repetitive tasks and also minimize those time consuming tasks too. The studio version is a one time purchase offering a lifetime license with unlimited upgrades. This is a great investment for professionals who need advanced features or beginners that want to take video editing seriously. If there are any features that I miss that would be useful to people who are thinking of upgrading from the free version to the studio version, let myself and everyone know in the comments below. This will help everyone out to see if they would actually want to upgrade from the free version to the studio version. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. To stay up to date on future DaVinci Resolve editing tutorials, filmmaking tech product reviews, cinematography tips and tricks, and filmmaker interviews, which I will be releasing very soon, so stay tuned for that. Of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a like and also share this with other beginner editors that may find this video helpful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.